dynamic, distant object, level of detail. Dindalod. Your prerequisites. Microsoft Visual. The .NET Framework. The .NET Runtime. And 7-Zip. Links below. Take your time. Follow carefully. You've got this. Improving the immersion of the game world by compiling the resources and assets from your modded build. The game uses low-resolution 3D models alongside flat 2D models known as billboards to form a distant world beyond our current location in-game. Seeing into the distance whilst maintaining performance, it can only work with what it has access to, so make sure you finalize your choice of environment mods before installing. Because it is a manual process, once compiled, it won't change without it being regenerated and replaced. Do not install any mods that alter the same areas as Dindalod, as they will conflict. Head on over to Nexus Mods and download the following. Dindalod Resources Dindalod 3 This will be downloaded manually. Dindalod Scripts and Dindalod 1.6.1170, our game version. Open your Downloads folder. Open your Modding Hub folder in another window. Drag and drop the Dindalod zip file into your Modding Hub folder. Right click on the zip file. Select Extract here. Once extracted, you can delete the zip file. You will now have a Dindalod folder containing the executables. Now head on over to MO2. We will start with Resources. Double click on the file from your download section. Click Next. Choose your preferences. I suggest all four from the first group. And desync Birds of Prey. Click Install. Now Scripts. Check the data is valid and click OK. And lastly, install the SKSE plugin. You'll need to add plugin to the name as it will have the same name as Scripts by default. Check the data is valid. Now from your drop-down tab on the right, select Edit. Click the plus symbol to add executable. Navigate to your extracted Dindalod folder in your modding hub. Inside the folder, select Dindalod 64 Executable. With Dindalod 3, you no longer need to input an argument here. Click Apply. Now click the plus symbol again. Select TextGen 64 Executable. No argument is required here either for the latest version. Click Apply. And click OK. Enable the mod. From the drop-down list, select TextGen64 and click Run. A pop-up window will appear. Select your game from the list. This replaces the command line argument from the previous versions. Click Start. Allow this time to complete. It may take a moment. You will be prompted with this message. 
click Start. Once completed, select Zip and Exit. Wait for the window to close. Back in your Dindalod folder, you will see a new folder named TextGen Output. Inside is the zip file we just compiled. Drag and drop this zip file into your MO2 Downloads tab. Double click to install. And remember to enable it. Now we will repeat this process for the Dindalod executable. From the application drop down list, select Dindalod and click Run. Select your game from the list. Select all the areas you wish to be included and choose your quality. Higher quality, higher demands on your PC. Allow time for the process to run. This will take longer than TextGen, making it a perfect time for a brew. Once completed, select Save, Zip and Exit. And wait for the application to close. Like before, navigate to your Dindalod folder. Only this time, we want the Dindalod output folder. Inside this, drag and drop the zip file into your Downloads tab in MO2. Double click to install and select OK. Ensure you enable this too, then we can move them to the very end of our mod priority list. As for their order, ensure the order of the Dindalod files is as you see on screen. Should you wish to regenerate your Dindalod files in future, you must ensure you remove the existing output files from your mod list and run the game without them to allow Dindalod to reset. I suggest deleting the generated zip files from your Modding Hub folder too, to avoid any confusion in future. Now it's time to sort our plugins. Select Loot from the drop-down list and click Run. Select Sort Plugins and the Update list. Close out of Loot and launch Skyrim via SKSE on MO2. Great job. I'd like to give a massive shout out to those who have supported the channel via Patreon, Buy Me A Brew and YouTube donations. Both past and present, your incredible generosity keeps the channel afloat and I simply could not do it without you. It's a real pleasure to connect with people across the globe and I am truly honoured. Thank you. If you'd like to consider supporting future videos, links can be found below. Stay safe folks, I'll see you soon.